Okay, this code currently uh, creates random buildings now uh, with random widths and random heights, but it only does four. Um, so if you wanted to make sure that you went all the way across, um, the minimum width is 10, so you'd have to do this 32 times to ensure that you'd have enough, but your max width is 60. So if you did that, then it's gonna be building way out here and wasting a lot of time. So we're gonna look at a new control or control structure. Instead of a for loop to draw 32 of those, we're gonna do a while, and while a condition is being met, it's going to do that code. So we could say while building x is less than 321. So if it's less than 321, we want it to create a building. So we want it to draw a building, then we want to add to the building x value, update the building with value, and then check building x again if it's less than 321, draw another building. So this while loop now will create our sky or our cityscape, our skyline here, um, as big as it needs to be to fill the screen. So you can see the different widths, no matter what, there's different number of buildings now every time but every time it will go to the end of the screen, which is perfect. So this is gonna be, um, let's call this function draw skyline. And let's copy and paste, cut and paste it into here. That looks good. And then we're going to draw skyline. Now, I want to change my buildings. I don't want them to be a silhouette anymore. So I'm gonna change the gray to more of a concrete color. That looks good. And now I want to, they all look like they're muddied together right here. So I'm gonna put a line on the outside of them um, on the back side here uh, that's black to kind of indicate some depth in this. So let's do this. Let's do a pin up. Let's do a move to. And we're gonna move to X plus width. Um, or actually, when it's done drawing the rectangle, it should actually be already right at the on the uh, right side. No, it'd be at the top. It'd be up here. So we'll just do X plus width, comma, 300. So we're gonna move down to this lower right side and then we're gonna um, do a pin width. So let's change our pin width to maybe five. Let's change our pin color to all black. And then let's move forward the height. We'll kind of start here and see what we got. And let's run it. Okay. Why didn't it write? Pin up, move to, pin with, or move forward. Ah, pin down. Pin down, then move forward. Let's try that. Okay, there we go. So this is starting to show some depth. I kind of like this. Um, yeah, that's... So I don't like that it extends beyond here. So let's change that. So because of our pin width, it kind of gives that rounded over effect there. So let's do, instead of uh, 300, let's do 298. Let's see what if that works. Okay, that works good. But now we extend too high. So we got to do like height minus, let's try minus four. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, maybe a pin width of seven. Let's see if that... Um, maybe, I like five but I think I'm not gonna move all the way to the width here. I'm gonna subtract one and kind of bump it back just a bit. I kind of like that. Yeah, I, I like that a lot. I'm digging that. So that adds that kind of extra depth um, to, your, to your skyline. Yeah, that looks cool. I'm pretty happy with that. 
If you wanted to, you could have outlined your buildings. So you could have gone back to the beginning and do a forward height, turn right, forward, or forward width, turn right, forward height, turn right, forward width, turn right. And you could have outlined them in black. But I kind of like this, where it, it's like a shadow effect. It kind of gives some depth to your building um, as it goes backward. Um, that's, that's pretty slick. I, kinda, I like that a lot. Um, let me take this off again and let me see what it looks like. And you know what? This isn't bad either. I mean, honestly, this, this looks pretty cool too. Um, I think either one... Yeah, I'm actually going to leave this. I like this a lot. This looks cool. It gives... Yeah, this looks really good. Anyway, sorry, that's me just enjoying the fruits of doing something well, which you should you should do uh, because it takes a lot of work to get uh, your programs looking good and doing what you want them to do. So when they do what you want them to do, you should celebrate that. That's part of being a programmer because um, it doesn't come often, it seems. You have a lot more failures than you have successes. Um, so this looks good. I'm going to draw some grass and put a little layer of grass there, which Honestly, it's just a rectangle. So I'm going to copy this, paste it up here. I need to do a move to command. I'm going to move to 0, 310. And you're like, why'd you pick 310? Um, because this is 300. So I'm going to go 310 and I'm going to draw a rectangle right there. So it's starting at 0. It's um, and 310. And it's going to be 320 wide because it's going to fill the screen but it's only going to be 10 high. So it goes up to the base of the building. I guess I should probably change the color. Go to our color picker. Find some lovely shade of green. That looks good for me. Paste that there. Ooh, what happened? Ah, it's drawing building boom pin down you should always do a pin up when you're done with a function it's always good to do and then the other thing that you should always do is you should always do a pin up before you do your move to just in case someone who wrote the function before you didn't do a pin up command um, on that so it's always helpful if you look at my draw rectangle I've got a pin up there pin up there um, and then pin down when I need to move to it. So it's just good habit of doing that. Okay, there's my grass. Create a function. Draw grass. Copy, paste. I should have cut paste, but it's okay. I'm gonna draw a road. Road. This one's going to be um, 20 tall, so I'm going to go down to 330 this time, and now I need to find a nice grayish, greenish gray here. That looks good for a road color. Paste that in here. Oh, I guess I got to draw grass. There we go. Here's our road. New function. That was easy. That was easy. Uh, I've got an easy button. Everybody needs an easy button in their life. Cut that. Paste it. Draw road. Now, I'm going to put little lane lines in this road. So it's, again, very similar. Copy, paste. I'm going to move to uh, five this time. And so I'm going to make my rectangles two tall and five wide. 
So that means in the middle would be 320. So I'm going to go one above and one below that line. So that's going to make it 321 is going to be the top or the bottom side of that rectangle. So I'm going to make this at 321. And then I need a color yellow. Control safety yellow. That's super bright. Looks good. Paste that right into there. And there we go. Oh, I didn't draw it at five. I drew it at zero. So let's put it at five. Here we go. Now, I'm going to draw rectangles, uh, multiples of these. So I'm going to draw one at five. I'm going to space five and draw another one. So these are five wide. So I'm going to draw them at five, 15, 25, 35. Um, so I'm just going to try this in my head. Let's see if we can do a for loop. And we're going to do a move to, we don't really need to do, um, really we just need to copy this. Um, I don't think we need the move to because the move to is done when you draw the rectangle. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't think we need to do the move to command inside of this for loop. So let's see. Let's see if we just draw four of them. Uh, what if we did this times I? What happens? Oh, it just makes a big blob. Um, and it started at zero. So what if we did five times I plus five? To move it away from there. Okay, that that worked, but then it um, did a big blob. Uh, what if you did plus ten? That do it. No. Okay, so let's go to the paper. Sometimes when you you know if you try it a couple times and it doesn't work out, really kind of sit back and think about your work. So I've actually already done this, but this is what I would do: is I would say, okay, the first one's a five. Next one's gonna start at 15, then 25, then 35. And I'm gonna look at what is my increment every time. And if I notice, I'm incrementing by 10 every time. So I could either make I increment, so since this is increasing, this X value is actually going to be some form of I in my for loop. It's the incrementer, or it's you know what's increasing. So I could just increment I by 10 every time and start at a five and then work my way up. And I could do that. So I think that would work. If I said that my I starts at 5, it's going to go all the way to 325. But then I'm going to say I plus equals 10. And now I could just say draw at I for my X value. And this should work. Boom. There we go. That's probably the easiest way to think about it. Um, but I want you to think about it this way. What if you just did I for how many times it repeats and you use 10I as this? Because if you think about it, it goes from 0 to 10 to 20 to 30. So this is essentially I being multiplied by 10 every time because it's 0 to start with, then it's 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, then 5, etc. So another way that we could do this is, and then look at the difference between these values. If, I, or if 10I starts at 0, to get it to 5, we add 5. 10i is then 10, add 5 is 15, 20 to 25, 30 to 35. So another way to look at this is to start your increment at 0. Do this 32 times, because every 10 you know, spaces you're going to draw one of these. And then you're just going to increment i by 1 every time. So we're going to do the i++. Plus plus. And this is going to be 10 times i plus 5. And this equation should work the exact same. It's just a different way to look at it. Um, so that when you're looking at your for loop, you know how many times through the for loop it's going to go. It's going to go through 32 times. And it's drawing a rectangle um, at 0 plus 5, 10 plus 5, 20 plus 5, 30 plus 5, etc. When it draws those. So this is pretty good. Um, there's my lane lines. So I'm going to make a function. Um, for my lane lines, and then I'm going to put it inside of draw road. So function. Draw lane lines. Okay. Paste. Draw lane lines. And this should do everything that we wanted to before. Oops. 
No. There we go. And there it is.